I bought the most expensive Honda Civic from 2006. And I lost so much money. Flipping cars is supposed to be easy, but being scammed is even easier, especially when dealing with enthusiast cars. If you aren't careful, you can be taken advantage of as well. Coming standard with a limited slip, six-speed manual transmission, and revving to 9,000 RPM. Equipped with Honda's iVTech or iV Vitalek, this K20 Z3 comes in the 8th generation Honda Civic Si. It's also known as Honda's best engine ever. This engine is very commonly used in the aftermarket community to swap into track cars, drift cars, or even boats. The Honda community couldn't get bigger. I found this car on Facebook Marketplace for $3,000. He said it runs fine, but it's been sitting for a really long time. My full intention with this car was to buy it, clean it up, fix little broken things and flip it really easily. I didn't even record anything from this journey. This wasn't supposed to be a project. I have way too many of them on this channel already. I drove up to Cleveland with full intention of driving this thing home. When we got there, we started it and it ran like absolute garbage. I thought, oh, it's probably some bad fuel. It's been sitting for a really long time. No worries. I negotiated with the guy all the way down to $1,500. I tried to drive it home, but the alternator locked up on it. I ended up buying AAA and towing it to my friend's house in the area. What a waste of $100. The next day, I put a new battery in the car, and the starter locked up, but in the weirdest way. It was locked on. When you plug in the battery... The starter just runs infinitely. The second I put the battery terminal on the battery, the starter just instantly spins infinitely. I went ahead and bought a new alternator, belt, and starter, and replaced them all in the same day. Great, done. The car's ready to sell, right? Wrong. I started the car and it still ran horribly. Thankfully, my Jessica also has a Civic SI. I borrowed her car for two days to swap all the sensors, solenoids, throttle body, you name it. I swapped every single part over to see if something was bad, to see if it was an easy fix. Nothing worked. Next, I flushed the fuel system and ran fuel injector cleaner through with no change. I even changed the fuel pump and the whole fuel rail. Any experienced technician would finally say, check the engine timing. And I will tell you, that was the very first thing I actually did. I pulled the valve cover off and checked the top two timing marks. They aligned perfectly. Little did I know, I'm actually stupid. I spent two more full 10 hour days swapping stupid little parts like the throttle body and taking off the full exhaust to check for blockages. After all options were exhausted, I checked the timing for the third time. But this time, I checked all three timing marks, both camshafts and the crankshaft. Lo and behold, the smoking gun. The crankshaft was off the timing mark. It actually skipped two teeth on the chain. This could mean three things. One, the timing chain could be stretched. Two, the timing chain guides are broken. They're made out of plastic. And three, the timing chain tensioner could have broken. Honda calls for the timing chain tensioner to be replaced every 140k miles. This junkyard engine in this car has about 160,000 miles, I think. So that's the first thing I'm gonna check. I pulled everything apart and got the tensioner out. It was trash. All the teeth on top that are supposed to hold the tension were totally stripped off. I didn't even need to check anything else. This was a clear culprit. I ordered the new chain tensioner and waited two painful long days. After that, I did a couple other things to the car, such as rebuilding the AC compressor and cutting the muffler off. Now you're asking, how did I lose so much money? My original plan wasn't to make any videos with this car. Just a quick little flip to make some extra money. Every time I would fix something on the car, I would be like, oh, this is the last thing. But I kept running into brick walls. This car cost me $1,500. Towing the car after it broke down cost me $100. The alternator, starter, and belt were $400. The fuel flush was $60. The injectors and fuel rail were another $60. The timing chain tensioner was also another $60. And then the new fuel pump was $200. The total price in parts altogether was $2,440. With the car being worth $3,000, that that leaves me $560 in profit. Woo!
too. But we didn't factor in any of the labor. My shop charges $100 an hour. And if we factor in 10 hours of labor for six days, 60 hours. Now for $100 an hour and 60 hours into this car, that leaves us $6,000 of labor. That means this Honda Civic SI actually cost me $5,440. And I still didn't even fix everything. The steering wheel constantly turns left. The SI uses electric power steering, so I think it just needs to be recalibrated at the dealer. This trunk isn't even from an SI. It was from a junkyard on a base Civic. How are people gonna know I'm cool? Also, this is a wheel well intake, but I repositioned it up so it doesn't drink a bunch of water. It doesn't fit very good. It also has a lot of rust. Rust, 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 rust. rust. If I didn't commit on grinding out this car, it totally would have sat in the back of my shop for months collecting dust and getting parted out so what's next am i gonna keep the car part it out or sell it i could milk the car part it out and make a maximum of four thousand dollars but i'd be spending a whole nother week stripping the car listing the parts finding the people it's just not worth it this car is worth three thousand dollars as it sits right now but i've grown a big connection with this car spending a bunch of time money and time with this car i actually love this si and i really want to keep it it's really fun to drive and everyone else i know has an si too bad i need to pay for rent credit card and Jessica. Make sure you guys subscribe because you don't want to miss what's next.